Hello. Um, Thank you. I couldn't hear him. So yeah, BuzzFeed Natasha Jokic. Uh, my question to you is, what was one of your favorite behind the scenes moments with the cast? Favorite behind the scenes moment with the cast? Uh, what did I think behind the scenes? One, like it's the only time I've ever gone to set when it wasn't, I didn't, when I didn't have to, like when I wasn't working. And then we drove on set we drove to set and we was like doing like donuts, not donuts, but we were doing swerves and curves. And we showed up and then we had lunch with everyone and it was really cool. And then we just kind of bum rush everyone and then we pretended to kidnap algae. That was really funny. Next question comes Thank from you. ET, Kevin Fraser. And do you almost missed your big moment. Um, how happy are you that everything worked and you got to say your piece and congratulate everybody. And was it your technical difficulty or theirs? I can't hear you, my guy. Oh, we've got nope. a technical difficulty okay, now. Okay, bro. here you go. Now That's I got right. you. I got you. <laughs> there you full go. Full circle, my guy. Full circle. <laughs> Was that you our full that circle? Man. <laughs> you almost missed So That's what happened, bro. That's what happened. That answers your question. You know how it is? It's a pandemic, bro. They got into the Wi-Fi. They got into the Wi-Fi, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask you, though. Like, the Wi-Fi has been spread. Corona's been spread on the Wi-Fi. I mean. You almost missed your moment. And you, then you said, hey, y'all you, you almost did me dirty. How important was it to have that moment to give that speech and especially give love to the Hampton family? It was amazing, you know what I'm saying? I, like, that's, that's what I really wanted to speak because I wanted to give the, the, the recognition to where it's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? With, um, Chairman Fred Hampton and the family. I mean, we did this. We did this to continue a legacy. So that was the most important thing about it. So that's why I was like, yeah. I didn't say you almost did me dirty. They did me I was speaking, and then it just, oh, it's mad. It had, you know, part, that's life. Okay, next question comes from Tyron Edwards, eTalk, CTV. Hi, sorry, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, great. Oh, so, oh, here he is. Sorry, here he is. All right. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you, first of all, uh, for, for using your, your, your acceptance speech and your spotlight to shine the fact on the fact that Fred Hampton's life and what and what he lived was more important than just the stories of, of him passing. Um, and I just really wanted to thank you for that. You also referenced Nipsey Hussle. You said you gave until you were empty. You also said Fred Hampton made you a better person. So what do you think, what do you thank Fred Hampton for the most? Um, sorry, you, like, you kind of cut out in the last sentence. What did you say? Okay, I just wanted to know what do you think? Because you said uh, he made you a better person, uh, being able to tap into his life. So, what do you thank Fred Hampton for the most? What do I think Fred Hampton gave the most? What do you, Is that the question? No, thank. What do you thank Fred Hampton for the most? Oh, Frank Hampton, I thank him for his love, man, and his compassion and him, the amount of self-love he had and how much he poured into the black community, you know, and like, and, and didn't compromise on that, you know, and he, he's, he's, he's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant man. I've never encountered anyone like him. You know what I'm saying? So it's, um, sometimes I read his speeches just randomly, you know what I'm saying? That's how deep, that's how much he gave. And um, um, I, thank you, I thank him for, for, for his life. Okay, next question comes from Hollywood Unlocked, Alexis Joy. Hello, how are you? Congratulations, first award of the night. <laughs> um, now, Fred Hampton's story was in a very, a very important story that needed to be seen on the big screen. And of course, it was released during Black History Month. You won this award during Black History Month. What does this, this moment mean to you? This, this, what are you talking about? The moment tonight or the moment in general? In general, to be able to tell Fred Hampton's story and to be able to be awarded for it. I think to tell the story is just, it's, man, it's a privilege. You know what I'm saying? It's an honor. I feel mad humble in this current moment, to be real. And like, I feel like if I was four years older, I can't play this role. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's like, a, I feel really aligned. So I just feel grateful. You know what I'm saying? And, and I feel grateful for the award to allow more people to watch, you know, this film that um, everyone come together, came together and, and made, you know, and to, to, to continue the legacy of Chairman Fred. Thank you. Next question from Essence Brand Victorian. 
Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Uh, congratulations on your win tonight. Um, similar to a question before with quoting Nipsey Hussle and talking about giving you your everything, can you talk about what it took uh, for you to play Chairman Hampton and what lesson from his life you'll take with you as you go forward in your life and career? Um, say that last bit again, sorry, say it again. Yeah, uh, what, what did it take for you to step into his shoes, Chairman Fred Hampton, and what lesson from his life will you take with you as you go forward in your life and your career? Uh, it took everything, everything and more. Like I found more, um, I had to find more. Um, and the lesson is just, it's clarity. No clarity of thought, clarity of feeling, clarity of giving. You know, um, and and just self love, and how much how much they love their own. I'll keep that with me forever. Thank you. Next question comes from AP oh, oh, oh. Jamia Pugh. Hello, congratulations, sir. This is Jamia Pugh. I've met you before. What's up, man? You, you have. We talked not too long ago, and I want to kind of go back to our conversation because I remember you mentioning how a different you showed up in order to portray uh, Chairman Fred Hampton. So I'm wondering now, with the film being considered one of the best, recognized as one of the best in all of your hard work, talk to me about how full circle this moment is for you, if that's the case, Daniel. Uh, yeah, I, I mean... We did it, do you know what I'm saying? We made it, do you know what I'm saying? It's so hard for films like this to be made. And that's the win for me, that's the, that's the win. I like we, the fact that we told it from this perspective, you have to give your hat, to, to, your, um, what's that? Tip your hat to Ryan Coogler when he made a billion, he pitched this, you know? Like it, it's certain, so many things have to happen in order for this film to get made. Like for us, we could try to make it. And to, Antoine Fulcourt tried to make it. It's a lot of people who tried to make this film. So the fact that we were able to make it is, is the biggest win. And the fact that uh, uh, mainstream audiences arrive into it and arrive into this story is everything. <laughs> wow, she's live wow. and she's just out. What's going on? Are we up? Am I up? I don't even realize she's on camera. You're up, guys. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> you're up, you're up. I see. There's I've the, got everything. You know, it's it's different. It's different. Daniel, congratulations! Uh, first first time winning your Golden Globes for Fred playing Chairman Fred Hampton. I mean, how important and and relevant is this award for you? Winning this at a time right now, playing Chairman Fred Hampton. Um, what what do you want that message to be for us today? It's to, it's to know people that are on the front line and really doing changes, really doing the battles, people that are responding to, to the murders of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor, the fact that they weren't, they're not alone. They can look at history and there's a line of people who really fought and really believed in what they That's believed fun. in. And they had the words and they had the strategy Nothing. to implement it. And it's to know that like they're not crazy. And she's gone, but let's laugh. See that. I'm in troll mode. <laughs> I know everyone's scared about 5G, I, but we really need that shit. Guess it <laughs> we really need 5G in this world, bro, because this shit is crazy. <laughs> I'll fry my brain. I don't mind. <laughs> All right. Another question, Chasmine Simpkins, Hip Hollywood. Hey, Daniel, what's up? Hello, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. So listen, we congratulations on the wind. Obviously, we've heard you you shouted out Nipsey Hussle, the brilliant Nipsey Hussle. Could you see yourself bring helping to bring his story to life? Uh, we know you can brilliantly bring other people's story to life. Would you be interested in helping to bring his story to life? I want to see it. Like, I, I don't know. I, I definitely don't think I should play Nipsey Hussle, considering my complexion. But um, but uh, I feel like uh, I want to I definitely want to see it. Just saying, and if I can help, then I can help. But I, I just want it to exist. I mean, that's like everything. I just want things to exist. And sometimes I'm the one person that's the, the vessel and the kind of person that's going to... 
I'm just happy certain things exist, you know. Um, and that's all I'm, you know, that's all I'm in the business of. Daniel, oh, they you, off. I can't hear. you're going to be relieved pretty soon. Last question, deadline, Anthony D'Alessandro. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi, how are you? Can you hear me okay? Can you yeah. hear me okay? Crystal, yeah, what's happening? Yeah, just building on what are, if you could continue to expound on this, what are some of the lessons we can all learn from Fred Hampton today? Um, the importance of clarity of thought and clarity of belief and how to think of an idea and action it and organize people together, but like loving the local community and focus on the local community first. Because when you change your world, you change the world. 